I'm just an old jukebox junkie spending my time, spending my money feeding this habit with hardcore country. I'm just an old jukebox junkie. Jukebox junkie Ken Mellon's what an awesome song uh, back in the uh, 90s, about 94, something like that. And he had some great stuff out. Uh, and uh, check him out on uh, TikTok. He's also got a YouTube channel as well. But uh, anyway, he's got some. He got a new album coming out, I think, uh, pretty soon. So uh, uh, he's been talking about it on TikTok. So check that out. But anyway, uh, my name is Keith Williams with Fret Moore Guitar Lessons. Appreciate y'all tuning in today. Uh, tuning in today, where we uh, fret more, stress less, and make a whole lot of music. And today we're gonna make a little music on this jukebox junkie. Just a good country, good country song, country sound. He had that. Uh, just a great, uh, uh, kind of brought back some of uh, the old country sound there, so in his voice and his style. So, uh, anyway, we're going to be in A today. Just, uh, we've got four chords. I'll show you those real quick, but, uh, going to be, uh, in the key of A. So, I'll be playing this A in case you're wondering what I'm doing there. If you don't want to play that, you can play, you can play with three fingers if you want to. Okay. I'm going to do a D, a D in there, got an E, and a B7. Okay. So if any of these chords you don't know, uh, you can check those out uh, probably on my site, um, on my channel. If uh, if you can't find them there, let me know and I'll make a video on it, okay? All right, so what we're doing uh, this beginning part, uh, just on the open strings each time. So in A, we're on the open string, uh, the fifth string, the A string. Okay, and then in, when we're in the D chord, we're on the fourth string, the D string, okay? And uh, when we're in uh, E, uh, we're plucking the sixth string, the E string. Isn't that funny how that all works out? It's always uh, it's A, D, and E. All right, so we're just doing the uh, just the up and down, just the up and down motion. And we don't want to get it too fast. It's hard for me, especially if you've ever watched any of my videos. You know what I mean. But I'm I'm kind of palm muting this uh, uh, right here, so we're not getting not getting that, but we're getting. It just sounds cooler, doesn't it? Just down up motions, like say, uh, it, it's it is it's difficult without a uh, without a drummer or a metronome or something to kind of keep you you know steady or keep you from getting too fast, I guess. Okay, so the first uh, it starts out with the chorus. The chorus is in there about three times at least, so and then two verses. I'm just an old jukebox junkie spending my time to D my money feeding this habit e hardcore country i'm just an old jukebox junkie i can't stand it here when it goes to i can't stand it here it changes up and then you can just you don't have to do that i mean you could still do that if you wanted to but or you can just strum it yeah so i can't stand it here the music stop I keep dropping my quarters and a slot so it goes to playing every song made to see i'm just an old Junkie. So it goes back to A. It's, it's the same uh, progression there. It's just uh, A to E. So. It's just A, D, and E back and forth there uh, throughout. I'll say back and forth. A, A, D, and E throughout the uh, the chorus there. Uh, does that uh, twice through there. And so... Uh, uh, then we got the verses, uh, and they change up a little bit. They they are the same, uh, you know. They're the same as far as uh, each one are the same, but different than the chorus. Okay, <laughs> that made sense at all. I don't know if it did or not. It didn't to me, but uh, hopefully it does to you. Uh, anyway, so the first one is uh, "Summer Dancing Fools." Okay, so um, and we're going to. And I'm not, we're not going to do any lead stuff today. They do some. They do a couple of breaks, I think, on it, and uh, with fiddle and stuff like that, and. Uh, uh, you could run through the chords if you wanted to, you know. Do that. Just kind of give it a little break if you wanted to in the middle. You could do that. Uh, but anyway, the first verse is uh, Summer Dancing Fools. And so it goes to the E here, okay, as opposed to the chorus where it goes to the A, D, and E. Uh, so, Summer Dancing Fools. Summer Dancing Fools, Summer Hooked on Booze. Goes back to the A. And this was always the part I wasn't 100% sure on, but 
I can't really figure out anywhere else it's going. Uh, and I think I even looked up some tabs finally because I was like, man, it don't, don't sound exactly right, but uh, but we're going to do it this way. That's all, I, I couldn't really find anything else. It wasn't a seventh chord, it didn't seem like. Uh, but it uh, seemed like it's going to the D, okay, on this next line. So, uh, so some get their fix. Some get their fix on an old bar stool back day. And then this one for sure is right. A handful of quarters is all I need. Back to the D. And here's the B7. Um, did I show you the B7? I don't know if I showed you the B7. I think I forgot. Anyway, here's the B7. If I forgot that, I think I did. Okay, strumming five there. Okay, so the uh, uh, so this is the only part. There's, uh, like I say, both verses uh, are exactly the same progression, uh, and uh, this B seventh is on the last line. So, uh, so we're in D. Handful of quarters is all I need. It don't take much to satisfy to E me to A, and then it goes back to E. Because it does a little driving, you know, just plucking down is all it is. Really just getting that, mostly that uh, sixth string. Again, we're kind of palm muting it over here. We don't want it ringing out. We want to palm mute it. And kind of getting the sixth and probably a little bit of the fifth there. I'm just an old jukebox junkie spending my time, spending my money. Okay, so it goes right back into, into the chorus after, of course, that first verse. And then, uh, then there's a break after that, and it goes through. And like I say, you can run through the, or you can do down strokes, or you can do up and down, like in the beginning, or you can do strumming. I'm kind of doing some up, the couple extra up strokes at the end of that. If you want to, if you want to do the strumming as opposed to the, you know, uh, just the down strokes or the up and down on the string, the open string, either way you want to do it. But anyway, like I say, the next verse, uh, I, I lose control. I can't say no. Play them fast and I play them slow. I like the sound that the jukebox makes, makes. It's an old habit that I can't break. I can't break. And it uh, goes right back and does that little E. I'm just an old Jude box. And then, like I say, you can sing that, uh, you know, that uh, chorus a couple times at the end, however you want to do that, and kind of uh, end it out. I don't know if, I can't remember, it seemed like they might fade it out, but anyway, I just, I sang that last line again. I'm just an old Jude box junkie. Uh, once I did a cover on it, you can check out the cover and play along with that if you'd like. It kind of gives you, uh, you can see the changes going on and see the whole song. So anyway, you can check that out if you like. Hey, listen, I appreciate y'all tuning in today. Uh, give us a thumbs up on this one. Subscribe to us if you would. Check out our description down below with some links down there. And our, our sponsor, Nounhound, our, is one of our games that our, my family created. Be sure and check them out. And let's see what else. Uh, share us on social media if you would. I forget to say that sometimes. And um, check out our other videos out on Fretmore. We'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks.